All right, so we have this position, or sorry, we have this velocity graph. We want to answer some questions about it. So first thing, the acceleration um, is calculated by obtaining the slope of this graph. So our acceleration is going to be 10 minus 0 over 5 minus 0, which is going to give us 2 meters per second squared. Uh, again, look at these points. This is 5 and 10. And this is 0 and 0. Now, is the object speeding up, slowing down, or moving at a steady pace from 7 or 9 seconds? So let's just look at the graph. Um, a lot of people are just, how to say it? You're looking at things, and you're not looking at enough things. Um, so here I am at the seven second mark, and here I, and here the object is at the nine second mark. Now, actually, I didn't say here it is, but that's how fast it's going at the nine second mark. So let's be clear. Um, it starts off with a velocity of zero. So right here, it's actually not moving. And it's not moving because v equals zero there. And a lot of people are missing that, and that actually will affect that will actually help us answer one of the later questions on this page. Uh, and then here, um, it's backwards at negative 10 meters per second. So the proper answer is that it is, in fact, speeding up. And the reason we know that is it goes faster and faster backwards. All right. Now we want the displacement of the object from seven or nine seconds. Okay, I'm going to be very specific on how I want to see this work. You begin at the axis. So we're going to go from seven to nine seconds. Okay. And then we fill in this area here. That's the area we need to calculate. I'm just going to say something very, very clearly. Okay. I'm going to just do this here. And I'm just going to let you know if you shade this in and what I mean is this part here it is wrong okay so that area there it is wrong if you shade this part here in so just again no 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 and here yes Okay, now um, we've been working on this for a little while, so I just got to be clear. We've got the exam for some of you on Monday. So if we're looking for a deep reason behind this, um, we're not going to be able to do that. So at this point in the game, you're going to need to just learn that fact and use it on the test. We can talk a little bit more about why next semester, but this is something we need to be clear on, okay? That's the relevant area. The area is the area that goes from the axis to the point on the graph. That's the area. Um, because when you're below the axis, it's negative area. This doesn't look like a negative area. That does. So now let's go ahead and get the displacement. So that area is going to be 1 half times the base, which is 2, times the height, which is 10, Actually, negative 10 since it's below the line. And so when we calculate that, we're going to actually end up getting an area of negative 10 meters. Lastly, the object does come to rest. Yes, at 7 seconds. Because there, V equals 0. One other thing I want to emphasize. Let's just remember that if we're above the line here, we're going forward. And if we're below the t-axis, um, or and I should be clear, the object isn't physically above or below any time axis in the real world. This is a shorthand way of saying, if you look at the graph and you notice the plotted velocity graph, 
um, on the actual piece of graph paper is located above the t-axis. It's going forwards. And if the actual physical plot that you have drawn on paper is below this t-line, that means it's going backwards. So the answer here is at seven seconds, um, it's turning around. And you should let me know that it's going from forwards to backwards. The answer to F is no, never from a velocity graph. Okay, we just can't get the initial position from a velocity graph that has to be given.